simplify the expression. So we're going to start by using a property of log. It basically says if you have e to the a plus b, that's e to the a times e to the b. So here um, you can think of this as e to the ln x plus negative 2 ln y. If you want to think about it that way, um, that's okay. And then this would be e to the ln x, e to the negative 2 ln y. So really, you can, you can skip this step here. You don't really need to show this step, but I wanted to show it for extra clarity, right? You can go from here to here. All right, so the formula we're going to use is this one. If you have e to the ln x, you get x. So here, this first one is just x. And this one, we can't quite use the formula yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number and we're going to bring it upstairs using something called the power rule for logarithms. So it'll become e to the ln of y to the negative 2. All right. Uh, and then now we can use this formula. So this is x and then you cancel and you get y to the negative 2. And that would be an okay answer. Um, if you want to make the exponent positive, you can bring the y downstairs. Remember, this whole thing is really over 1. So you can write it like this, x over and then y squared. Because when you bring it down, um, the exponent becomes, becomes positive. So that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.